Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining us on what may be one of the world's greatest collector cars continuing to go up in value right now. It's, uh, it's been amazing to watch these cars. If you grew up during this time, you know, these are legendary. Now, General Motors is building cars. The Corvette has always been the fastest, most powerful car that they sell until this little thing came out, snuck its way in there and became it. If you've never driven or owned a Grand National, you have no idea what you're missing. First off, they're super comfortable. They're rock solid, full frame cars, okay? And they have power. I'm talking about a lot of power. This car in particular, 38,406 original miles on this car. This car is, I don't wanna say it's perfect because there's no such thing as perfect other than maybe you on the other side of the camera. But uh, right now, this is as close to that as you're gonna get. It is beautiful and it comes in that optional black. If you're getting a Grand National, you love black because that's the only way they came. And this car came with almost every option you can get. And we're gonna see some cool stuff that's still on the car as far as the stickers and decals and things like that that came down the assembly line circa 1987, all right? So as the last year for this car, makes it even more collectible, right? Low mileage and uh, loaded with options. We'll look around and we'll talk about some things. Anytime you see a car, like I look at a car first when I'm looking at a car and I say, hey, I look at the tires first. And you say, well, why would you look at the tires first? I say, well, because if that's somebody's baby, they're going to put the best tires they can on the car. If this is somebody's car, they're just looking to flip and sell. They're putting some Chinese brand tires on there, just something that'll get it through inspection or get it sold or whatever. When I saw this car, it had Michelins all the way around. The interior was mint. The paint was spectacular. I mean, it was really, really beautiful climate control cap. In fact, the paint was so beautiful on this car, uh, when you see this, you're going to go, no way, yeah, way. See how you can read every single word in there. All the little tiny bits of chrome that are on there look great. You got power disc brakes inside here. You got factory wheels. This is like an unmolested, unmodified kind of setup on the car. And uh, I think that uh, as we move around the car, you're going to go, wow, that is really a nice car. So let's take a peek under the hood first because that's really one of the most important things of this car. It's a great, great engine, and overdrive automatic transmission makes for an incredible cruising experience. So let's get under the hood and check it out. All right, so let's take a peek under here. All right. This is great because what you want to do is you want to get the years that had the intercooler built in. Most people don't know that all Grand Nationals did not come with the intercooler or the extra power, right? And its last runs of these cars did. So here's the original intercooler here, okay? Comes with the AeroSearch Turbo and intercooler setup right there. And just a really original car. Original stickers are still here in place. Uh, original VIN tags are around the car. Just an unmodified car, like the cruise control is still in place, the original master cylinder right here. We had to upgrade and redo uh, the braking system in the car. They all eventually go, every Grand National. We've done that for you already here, so this has all of that done and it is ready to go. It's Maryland inspected, right? You say, well, I live in another state. Well, that's not my point. My point is that, uh, that Maryland inspection is really strict, so they made sure that this was a really great car and it really looks good. This is the original underhood. Layman, they resell this hood. I left it in here. It has a small little blemish right here, tiny little blemish. I like to point out stuff because you know what? No thing is perfect, but the fact of the matter is that it has original AC decals and original cover for the turbo and valve covers and all of that good stuff. The manifolds are still there. This is like nice and stock. This you could keep in the box that you buy the new one for and it might be even better. If you want us to, uh, maybe you could ask your salesperson to throw that in as part of the deal. 
What I love so much about this car is if you like cars, you know what this car is. Everybody who sees it going down the road always points and goes, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, I know exactly what that is. But when you talk about collector cars and cars that are going up in value, what makes a car more collectible than another? First off, uh, low mileage cars, right? Good documentation, right? And a lot of things, for instance, like the original build sticker is still here in the trunk of this car, all right? Original jacking instructions. These are the original GM T-top bags that you can't even get anymore. So we would take the T-tops off, we put them in here, and that way they wouldn't get scratched. Inside here, I just pulled this away for a second so you could see, the original spare tire is still in here, the jack is still in here, there's probably air inside there from 1987. You should probably sample it and see if the air is any different today than it was back then. So that's my point. My point is if you want to go to a car show, this right here is a great display as well, opening the hood and what have you. It makes for a really nice effort. Uh, I don't know. I enjoy car shows. I don't like to stay there all day, but I like to go for a couple hours because everybody loves a Grand National when you show up. Hey, anyway, we wanted to show you what the car looks like with the T-tops. This car is loaded and loaded and loaded. You know, not what all these cars came with us, but with the T-tops off, it's a completely different animal, and it's really, really nice. Super easy to take off. Boom. Pop that right off, and look at that. Now you're sporty driving. All right, so come on inside here. I want to spend a second in here for a reason, because this car here happens to have a lot more equipment on it than a lot of others. On top of that annoying noise, and the annoying noise is a good sign. You say, well, you got to be kidding me, man. That annoying noise is a good sign? Yes. What that means is that the car is working exactly like it was supposed to do 1980, circa 1987. So we have our tilt wheel, right, for getting in here. This car happens to have power seats, power windows, power door locks, this has a top of the line sound system with the equalizer built in, right? What you can do is still leave that there and we can hide a digital sound system in the glove box, keeping it all stock, but you could stream your tunes in there. Look at the quality of the interior in here, man. The foam and the seats is still great. The door panels, the dash isn't cracked and warped. I mean, everything about this says to me, wow, low mileage, really, really nice. 38,409 original miles, loaded with the overdrive automatic, buckets and console air conditioning like you could go someplace in this car you could go hundreds of miles in this car and be like wow this is really really nice not to mention uh, so I've been told that it'll chirp second gear spin the tires in second sometimes even third I don't know that to be the case of course I can't condone those kinds of actions but just what I read online anyway uh, awesome piece all right, so we close up the video. Listen, this is probably one of the most loaded. We've had a lot of these cars here, but there's, this is one of the most loaded ones we've ever had, especially with low miles. So we're talking about the T-tops, power seat, power windows, power locks, air conditioning, tilt wheel, cruise control. Uh, it goes on and on. And uh, when I see these, the graph of these cars continue to go up in value. It's just a great investment vehicle. Not to mention, it's so much fun to drive. You can imagine going out with another couple in this car, taking the kids someplace. It'd be like, wow, is this car, uh, Dad, this is interesting. Or maybe talk about your car and they step on that gas a little bit and it's like, and they're like, whoa, what just happened? How you doing? Uh huh. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this 87 low mileage Grand National.